Hey, I'm John. Welcome to this video series on Visual Studio and .NET Core. In it, we're going to be building out a web application using C Sharp uh, in .NET. We'll be focusing on .NET Core 6, which is the latest stable version at the time of doing the tutorial, but we'll get to that shortly. The prerequisites uh, for this video series are Visual Studio, so you will need to download Visual Studio if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can either Google Visual Studio or go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. And there is a free version available, which is the Community 2022 edition. Um, or download the latest version at the time that you're working on. Uh, this will be carried out on Windows. There is Visual Studio for Mac available, but it's not exactly the same as Visual Studio for Windows. And Visual Studio Code, we're not going to be using, even though it is awesome, but uh, not for the context of this set of tutorials. Just of note, once you download Visual Studio and install it, a couple of screenshots here of what you'll need to make sure you're installing uh, when you go through the installer. You'll need to make sure you have the ASP.NET and Web Development workload uh, installed. That will give us .NET Core, etc. And optionally, if you click on the individual components tab, you can optionally install other older versions of .NET Core if you wanted them available or if you wanted to um, play around with the, with the older versions. At the time of recording this video, so .NET 6 is a good version to run with because it's got long-term support. Also 3.1 as an older version also has uh, long-term support. Um, so that's a good option, but we'll be running through this set of tutorials in .NET 6.